Hello everybody, SB Slayer here, and welcome to Project Zomboid. Now, this is a hyper-realistic um, zombie survival game. It's basically a simulation. Uh, well, the thing is, I've modded it to shit. There's a few mods in here that aren't enabled. This one, just I couldn't figure out why the fuck it wouldn't work. I couldn't find that mod. If someone knows where that mod is... Tell me. I will gladly install it so I can get this fucking water tank mod. Why do I want a water tank mod? I don't fucking know. But yeah. As you can see, lots of mods. Most of them just there to add more realism to the game. That's already hyper-realistic. Now it's ultra-hyper-realistic. <laughs> so, we're gonna go solo. And, of course, we're going to go to Sandbox, and here's all the fucking mods. One of them is this one. The stop one, AIZ Expansion 3, 3 is going to be a special thing. Because once we go here, anyone who knows Project Zomboid knows that the Project Zomboid map does not look like this. <laughs> this is a mod that adds all of the custom maps and shit. Like, almost all of them. Adds it adds those to the map of the map of Project Zomboid in a relatively cohesive manner. There's some you know weird placements, but you know when you're pasting maps onto another map, it's kind of gets wonky. <laughs> so yeah, that exists, and as you can see, it's got hundreds of places. Some of them we can spawn at, some of them we can't. And I would say we're going to spawn here at the bunker. But the bunker... Kind of weird. Uh, so instead, we're going to spawn at... You know, we're going to find one of the more... Vanilla places. We are not going to Crossroads Mega Mall. I know this map. That map is hell. <laughs> I don't even know where that is on the map. Um... We're gonna go to... You know what, let's go Muldrug. Why the hell not? Let's go with a normal vanilla spawn point. We're not going Apocalypse mode, we're going my special game mode, Realistic. Which just has... Starting month being April. Starting day one, we're starting immediately at the, at the beginning of the Apocalypse. But, uh, but there's also a fucking... These, these, these are two settings from two mods of working bench press and working treadmills because there's an entire, like, strength mechanic to this. So I found a mod that allows you to use the actual fucking gear. Um, but one thing I did disable. Respawning. This game has a respawning mechanic. It can be a real pain in the ass because the zombies spawn where you're not looking. So it can be really annoying to, like, clear out of town, leave it, and come back to another horde just sitting in the middle of it to just spawn. So I turned those off. So <laughs> we can actually clear areas. However, there will be hordes that will just... Herds of zombies that just wander around, and they migrate. So that is a thing. Now, as for our character. This is, this is probably one of the most in-depth character creation things like imaginable first off how, what does this give us fuck that's a lot of god i want this but also <laughs> i want this but also it's got so much bullshit <laughs> can hot wire vehicles less chance of breaking the lock of a window starts with knowledge of picking breaking locks I have a lock picking mod in here, so if anyone's wondering, yeah, there's a lock picking mod. This is gonna be a character. So we're an overweight, conspicuous, hearty appetite burglar. That that's a fast reader and is a fast healer. <laughs> God. We have a very weird character. <laughs> Especially considering we're a burglar and we're conspicuous. <laughs> Oh boy, I have picked a weird character set. All right, but we're gonna we're gonna save save him as burglar. 
next. And let's randomize, see who the hell we get. Uh, so... Scotty... Snodgrass. What? What is the name? Scotty, my boy. What the fuck is your name? Let's do this. Let's do this. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. And thus is the message of this entire game. But don't get attached to, uh, Scotty here. <laughs> Scotty Snudgrass. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at my character's name again, because there's no way I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> and here we are. A little bit of the basics, yeah, movement, all that. Oh, I'm not looking at TV. There we go. Look at TV. Learn cooking skill. Learn. Sorry. I just shifted and actually punched my fucking table. Okay, I need to have a look at my fucking info again. There we go, cooking skill one. Yes. <laughs> Sooty Snodgrass. Scotty Snodgrass. Oh my god, that's funny. Scotty Snodgrass. That is actually the character's name. That is great. I love that. <laughs> That's right, three skill points, yes, yes, level up. Level two in cooking already, holy shit. So yeah, this is why I like having it at the beginning of the apocalypse. And not knowing when the fucking... Uh, when, when the... Thing is gonna happen. When the power outage is gonna happen. Because that just makes me want to, like, watch this fucking TV program. This is the Life and Living show. Yeah, life and living. It teaches you carpentry and cooking skill. <laughs> this is the easiest way to do it. Oh, this TV has a VHS player in it. That will be useful. Alright, so. Oh. That's a... Actually kind of useful item. But first... As per my normal starting kit, which is just a small starting kit. I'm going to equip this baseball bat. And that is why I normally take the, uh... The one perk that gives me fast searching skill. But I do not have that this time. I sacrificed that for the healing skill. Because the healing skill is slightly more useful. Uh, so, in the meantime, we're going to search the entire house. Top to bottom. I doubt we're going to live here. Well, maybe we will. Hold on. So, yeah. I do have a mod that gives me a full map for this all-in AIZ mod. All in Zomboid. Um, which is the map mod I'm using. So that's why I can see all of this. Oh my god. Even the McCoy shit. Marked. That's actually useful. Alright. Dixie up there. The Mulberg Rail, Rail Yard. Which I'm pretty sure is a mod. So yeah, also there's a fucking door right here. What's the sleep do? Oh, just dog toys and shit. Alright, I didn't even know those were items. Alright. <laughs> I have never discovered those in all the time I've played this game. Also, just to make sure that we don't get swarmed by, like, zombies or anything, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, this, the, the detail in this game is ridiculous. You can close the curtains, you can do just about everything. You can even, like, make blinds out of, like, sheets. That's correct. I don't want any visitors. None. There's no curtain to close here. Alright, fuck. Alright, so... Anyone up here? Nope. You never know, occasionally there's a zombie just hiding in one of these. 
starter homes they put you in. They always normally pick a safe home, but I have had ones where have just spawned and got killed because there was a zombie in the house. Oh, sheets. So those would be useful. More sheets. Uh, I think the rest of that's useful right now. Oh, electronics book. That is always useful. Until you reach max level electronics, and that's just useless. Alright, so. Now we give, take a walk. Now that we have looted that house. Oh, hello. The first zombie. She doesn't even see me. I have the conspicuous trait. And brained. How's that for an overweight burglar? Oh, hello. Can I enter this? Cannot dismantle car wreck. Damn. Just a wreck. Alright, so. Go to this house. On oh, device options, what channel are you on? If you're gonna be on, you're gonna be on life and living. Just in case. Where is that? Okay, not in there. Not out there. Alright, it must be upstairs. Okay, first off, we're gonna close the curtains. Because I do not trust the outside. Ah, he's in there. There we go. Nothing good on you, alright. Spare, I guess. Boots, ooh. That's actually good. Put those on. Bite and scratch resistance. Always something to, something good to have on your fucking uh, stuff. Bite defense. Oh, rain boots. Also, my character is getting hungry. Shit. Eat the entire bag of chips. Don't mind all the blood split. Uh, oh. Oh, a fitness thing. Check that, actually. That'll be useful. Yeah, it's a useless TV... Useless TV program right now. Alright. Look. Hold on, what is there? Oh, it's a water bottle. Give me that. Is there water in it? Yes, there is. Kitchen knife. That will actually be handy. Oh, it's in great condition. Hold on, I put this. Put that to the primary. I'll use it as a stabby stab. Alright, let's see. Uh, what's my current gear? Jeans, some slight bite defense. Jeans in here that are the exact same. Okay. 
hear something. Yeah, I thought I heard you. No, you're not getting me. And that is why knives are great. <laughs> yes, wear that on my wrist. Now I can tell the time. Another awesome detail of this game. That you actually have to have the shape. Okay, first off. Close this. I do not want people getting Device options. Turn on. There. Also, how's my health looking? My health is great, yes. Did we close? No. Nope. Oh wait, I completely forgot to go upstairs. So actually, yes, do close. Okay, is there anything useful on this? Electronics volume, electrician volume one, I already have. <coughs> uh. Wait, what is that? Fishing volume. Oh, fishing skill boost. The fishing skill book. Give -a me. That's a diving mask. Pretty sure that's useful. Uh, what is my current get-ups? Stretch defense. Nothing. Okay, good. So, so, I will put this round neck sweater on. There, I have a little bit of scratch defense on now. Oh, painkillers. And more sheets. I hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, wait. Actually, good shit. Hold on. Wood X. Uh. My god, this house is just a gold mine. Holy shit. Uh, wait, what? Oh, Riverside map. That's actually useful. Give me that. Right now. WD-40s, few electrical parts, a March Ridge map. Those will actually be very useful. Someone's trying to bust down one of the doors. Sounds like it's the back one, but I'm not sure. It's in fact not the back one. I'm not sure as to where they're attempting to barge. Hello, good sir. Have yourself lay down, please. There he is. He's dead. Do you have a digital watch by chance? No, you don't. And you have that uh, kind of sheet clothing. Is that a generator? That's a fucking generator on the ground, isn't it? That is a generator right there. Yeah, that's a generator. Fuck. That's actually useful. Alright, um... I don't have the skills to use just about any of this. Uh, I'm gonna need a screwdriver first off. Because that is something that I need. And you know what I, for I completely forgot to check for? I completely forgot to check. Or paper clips, because I need those in order to pick locks. Mm 
get immediately stabbed. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, a fresh helmet. Ooh, that's actually useful. Wear that. Yes. This house is a literal gold mine. <laughs> There's so much stuff I can't even carry it all. Carpentry? What do you mean I can't carry that? No! No, I won't fit! Shit! Um, fuck. Uh, let me see. Is there any, like, backpacks or anything anywhere? Some kind of storage? Some kind of container anywhere? It's a walkie-talkie. Those are sheets. It's a bandage. I need that. Can I fit? Yes, I can. I can fit a bandage. Don't mind me, Mr. Zombie. Excuse me, Mr. Zombie. You're being extremely loud. And he's a bandage. Can I fit a sewing kit? I can fit a sewing kit. Okay. You're dead. Bitch. Oh, wait, that's a key. That's not just any key, that's a car key. Holy fuck. Grab that. No, put that... Put that in the key ring. Okay, so now we have a car key. Which means we have something to use. Hold on, I need to go find food, actually. Shit. I was just gonna leave this place, but no, there's food that needs to be found. Okay, yeah, there's some perishables. Um, Just eat an entire head of lettuce. <laughs> because fuck it. There. My hunger is satiated. Actually, let's make sure that I'm just well fed. Excuse me. Go to the fridge. There you go. Eat all this. There, you're eating an entire fucking fruit. There we go. Eat healthy. Burn that fat away. Okay, that zombie came from this direction. Ooh, is this the car? Excuse me, do I have key fits? No, I don't. Does that have to be unlocked? No, it's not. The back is, though. Damn it, they weren't nice enough to leave any of the doors unlocked. Maybe this nice gentleman will have the key. Good sir. Thank you. You say please die, but do it anyways. All right. Let's get in the house. Not finding much. Would like a bag of some kind to cut down the weight of the things I have on me. Okay, there's nothing in there. Seemingly nothing in here, alright. Okay, is there anything useful in here? A baklava? A few winter hats and shit. That would have been really bad if I opened that and there happened to be a zombie in there, because I was not ready. <laughs> Oh, fuck, my weight is a mess. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to... 
set up a safe house somewhere. Fuck. I am legitimately going to have to set up a safe house. Already. Alright, um... Not in here, though. There's just a broken window. There's nothing in this closet. This is just a closet. It's coming out of the closet. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... Okay, let's run over here. Maybe we'll set up shop in this house. Doesn't look too bad. Can I please shut the door? Thank you. I don't see anything on the loot. You now I should probably use the other map I have access to. Which is this one. So I started, like, here. Went to that house. I came to this house. No, wait, I started here. So I'm gonna put... Choose my start thing. Oh, I need a pen or a pencil. Shit. I'm moist. Oh, there goes half my viewership. All right. <laughs> the irrational disliking of a stupid term. That's a zombie bitch upstairs, alright. Oh, there's another one right here. Get deaded. Oh, it's a store. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm standing I'm setting up this house. Fuck everywhere else I'm sitting up here. Oh god. I'm stripped of help. <laughs> okay, first off. Close curtain. Close curtain. I had to shut off all of the light coming from this house. Why? Because it removes the chance of zombies coming and fucking up my day. Which would be very much preferred. Close curtain. That effort to these control. Yeah, yeah. Fuck up. Shut the fuck up. First off, you're not even on the right channel. Your news channel. Tune to that. There. Oh wait, is this? That's training a skill. Yeah, that's training my fishing skill. No oh, fuck. <laughs> fishing skill. Holy shit. Oh, until next time, guys. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, that also trains your fishing skill. That's good to know. I know it also trains your foraging. I don't know if it trains trapping. It might train trapping. But... <laughs> Yeah, I do know that, that exists. Hold well, on, I can what? I'm pretty sure it said check for alarm, and I was very... Very weirded out. I was able to just walk in here, so... Is that a radio? That is, in fact, a radio. Uh, first off, turn off. There's already something downstairs, creating a lot of noise. I don't need the thing up here, creating a lot of noise. Add sheet. Close curve. So if you can't tell, Easiest way to survive in this game. Just close the goddamn curtains. 
Make sure there's no light penetrating from your house. Whatever house you're in, you cannot have any light leaving it. That's the easiest way to keep zombies from just walking up on you. No. Add cheat. Close current. There. Don't mind the fact that the puppy is barking and whining from her parents downstairs. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, but yeah, it would seem that I have barricaded this house properly. And I've already killed... How many zombies have I already killed? I've already killed nine zombies. I should find one more and at least end it off on ten. I'm gonna find one more zombie real quick, so we can end off this video on like a tenth zombie kill. Where's one of these zombies? Come on. I'm just gonna wander over this way a little bit. There should be a zombie chilling around here somewhere. There's one. Die. Thank you. And there are ten zombies. Now I'm just going to leave that guy over there. So. I'm going to end the video here. I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in this video, live stream, or whatever I do next. Peace, guys!